did you see all the things that Joseph chose to do? He chose to make good choices all the time. He could have thought, this isn't my fault. I don't deserve to be in prison. I haven't done anything wrong. Or even, I don't deserve to be a slave in someone's house. I haven't done anything wrong. I've got a family. But he didn't. He chose to make good decisions. And the consequences of those decisions were that people trusted him. And it says he found favour. So people gave him nice things to do and gave him better jobs because God was with him because he made good choices. And I want us to think about those this week. What choices can we make that will be good choices? Because if we make those good choices, God's favour is on us. That means he does great things for us. He helps us out. So if we make good choices to try hard in our work, he'll help us out with that. Now we're going to head over to Horace for our memory verse. Here we go. It's Romans 8 verse 39. And it says, nothing can separate us from God's love. Are you going to try that with me? Here we go. Nothing can separate us from God's love. Let's put that all together. Nothing can separate us from God's love. Why don't you make up your own actions? Take care. See you next time. Bye. <laughs> Thank you, Horace. It's a great one. I hope you're learning it at home with your family. Now, it's about all we've got time for. We're going to pray and then be on our way. So let's thank God for this morning. Dear God, thank you that you've been with us this morning. Thank you that our choices um, have an impact. Help us make really great choices this week. Amen. Well, I'm off now. And I'm going to try and remember this week to make some good choices and ask God to bless me as I go about my day. Why don't you do the same? Take care and have a really lovely week. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.